I'm Savvy. I'm Addie. And this is going to be Things to Do in Pikeville. So stay tuned if you're in the area or traveling to the area. Okay, so Addison's going to be my cameraman right now. This is a bridge that we found last night. It's actually straight down on 7th Street. So if you put in 7th Street on your GPS, you should be able to find it. And it's a suspension bridge. It's pretty cool. So come on. Um, it's a little wobbly. Yeah, Addison's a little scared because <laughs> it's a suspension bridge, so it's, um... Look. Yeah, it moves. But, yeah, come on. Yeah. The river or creek or whatever you want to call this is high from the flood. <clears throat> oh my. So as you can see right now, I'm standing over the big sandy river is what it's called. So um, stay tuned for our next visit. Welcome to Bob Amos Park. Um, you start at the bottom of this hill. We're going to show you the bottom of the hill. You'll start right here and then it just goes up and around the mountain. So at this park there is many different elements, um, different things to do. They have picnics, parks, playgrounds, and we'll take you through all the other attractions there is at the dog park. This is the dog park. It would be on your first stop on the left. So you'll turn left and you'll be right at the dog park. So it has some little things for dogs to jump on. And then a little awning so that you can have a nice These, This is called Pike Villa. It's just some little apartment type condos that you can live in. I think it's for handicapped people because there was a wheelchair sign on them. I'm not really sure. We're coming up to the RV park. It's going to be on your right when you come up that main road on your way up. There's typically not a whole lot of RVs here. There is a playground back over there. So if you come and stay here, your kids will have a place to play. If you take a stop on your next right, you will come to the YMCA. This is the pool building right here. And then right next to it is the regular building with the gym. Over there you have some batting cages and a ball field. Over here on the right, you can see the community complex. So this is gonna be the tennis courts. And then as we drive, you're going to see more of the tennis courts, and quite a few. And then this is the field that the U-Pike Bears use to practice on. It's an all-turf field, and I'm pretty sure it's fairly new. Over here we can see some concession stands. They might have some bathrooms in there. There's some picnic areas over there as well as some vending machines over here. Over here, which is also gonna be on your right, you can drive through it from the turf field. It is a Little League baseball field. So community members can also use this and the Little League uses it as well. And there's some small bleachers right Keep there. Keep driving on up, up here. Either you can see on the left, we will go to more of the Bob Amos Park. On the right, you will see a walking trail that is closed right now. I'm not sure why. It could be because of bear activity. Going on up this hill, it is a pretty steep incline. I think that's a water tank up to your right, but we're going to keep heading forward until we get to the park. Here on your right, you can see a trail right there. It's, I'm pretty sure it's a horse trail because they do have horse trails through here. As you will see, they do have a stables. It's called H&M Stables and you can book tour rides. Trail well, rides. Here to your left, we have some shelters, and if Addison keeps driving forward, we're gonna come up to the park. Or you could call it a playground. So here we are at the left, and there is a pretty park. Me and Addison were just here yesterday. It's pretty fun. And we're gonna get out and play for a little bit. flips on it too. Yeah, we used yeah. to do flips. On, over here is the monkey bars. 
super hard. I always hate them. Here are the steps that lead up to the slide. Over here we have um, the crazy slide. I don't know what you call this. The loop de loop. Um, over here we have a straight down shorter slide. Walk up some more steps. And then up here we have the bigger slide with a little hump. And then right over here we have a cool ladder. And on your other side there's another ladder. So we'll walk over to that. Uh oh. <laughs> Addison's gonna draw for you guys. Okay. And then over here, there's another little ladder. And then I'm going to go down the slide to get down. So that's how that's going to go. Let's see how this works. One, two, three. Whee! Here's the slide, and then we walk right over to the mulch. To the you have some picnic tables, um, a little map. I think, and some trash cans, a trash can. There are some pretty trees here. Dead, it looks like. This is a social distancing thing. And then over here is the bear proof trash can. No bears getting in there. We pull out of that parking lot from the playground. We're gonna go up this hill a little bit more. It is a little bit steep, so keep that in mind if you've never driven in the mountains before. Now, right up here on your left, you can see the H&M stables. I don't see any horses in the ring right now, but we're going to drive by. Yep, all their shutters Typically are on the weekends, if you drive by here, those little windows will be open so you can take a peek at the horses. Now, we're just going to continue on this steep road to the Overlook. Now, we are at the Overlook. As you can see, it's a pretty good view. Addison's going to take down there in just a couple minutes. Behind me, I'm sure you can see this pretty new building. This is the event center, the new Overlook event center. And there's parking up here so that you can go down to the cage that Addison will show you in just a minute. So the event center is right here where they will hold weddings and parties and stuff like that. And if we come over here on the edge, we can get a good view of the cage that Addison's about to take you on, as well as Pikeville, downtown Pikeville. So you can't see U Pike in this picture, but you can see a good amount of downtown Pikeville. It's pretty small. We're headed down to the cage, which overlooks the cut through. They rerouted the Big Sandy River to reduce flooding in downtown Pikeville and provide more room for development. Here's a little more information of the cut through. Um, I'll insert a picture so y'all can read it. Um, you really probably don't want to hear us read it. Well, you might have a little time to So the cut through it. project was the dream of Dr. William Hambly. And we also have a street in downtown Pikeville that is named Hambly Boulevard. So we've made it into the cage. It's a little freaky. Um, not very sturdy, I don't believe. Um, now we're at the biggest platform, we just were on the walkway, I guess. And you can see those little <clears throat> cuts so you can see clearly, probably for photos. Also, on this cage, there is locks that people have put here. Um, probably couples or best friends to lock in their friendship. Me and Addison might need to do that before yeah. we leave and her and her boyfriend, Mikey. and it was completed in 1940. There used to be cars that drove on this bridge. I'm not sure how it would be very small, but they did renovate it and it reopened in 2006 to pedestrians and cyclists. So we're gonna take you along the bridge. So this one is also another suspension bridge, but it seems a little better because, I don't know, I guess it was built better. We are over, heading over the Big Sandy River. 
and at the end of this it is just a little quaint neighborhood so it'd be really nice if you lived around here to be able to walk dogs and stuff on it the big sandy river is a little high right now because we've had a lot of flooding in the area but it's slowly going back down yeah we do have some trees over here and there's a little bit of bamboo ground here if anybody knows why bamboo grows in kentucky let us know in the comments we're gonna keep heading down the bridge over here. This is the other side. So back there we have the car behind you. Now we're heading into the neighborhood. There is a bench right here that says City of Pikeville. It's super cute. And as you can see, there's a house on this side of me and houses on this side of me. So there's pretty much houses in every direction. And as we drive right up here to your right, you can see this big building, University of Pikeville. This is the Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine. This is going to be the coal building. So as you guys know, me and Addison both attend the University of Pikeville right now, also known as U-Pike. When you come up here, this is our main campus. As you can see, there's a statue, a sign, and the steps, the 99. This building right here would be Record Memorial, and then this one right here would be HPE, the black building. This is our new building, and it has the Kentucky College of Optometry, as well as a little food court with Chick-fil-A, Einstein bagels, and the pod. Up here, you can, I'm not sure if you can really see, but there's a little tiny that building right there. It's gonna be a dorm, it's called Gillespie. Right now, I'm pretty sure they're only using it for quarantiners. So over here to the left, you can see this brick building over here. That's Kinzer, and that is where Michael Swale lives, which is Addison's place. Yes. brick house right over here. And that is going to be the president's house. So we don't have a dean, we have a president. He lives in that there. See in front of us, it's the Lawson Family Residential Center. This contains Condit and Deriana. So right here, you can see Condit. That is regular regular dorm style I would say you have halls and then you have community bathrooms and this is for freshman girls now right over that's public safety and then right over here is Dariana where me and Addison actually spent our freshman year and that is Jack and Jill it has two two rooms that are connected by a Jack and Jill bathroom and as you can see this is the bridge that we take to get to our classes this is admin building it has more classrooms and then this right here is going to be the back side of Wickham Hall, which is freshman mail dorms. Continue past Spillman. Then you can see Armington right there. And then this here, right here, is going to be Page Hall, which is actually where me and Addison reside for our sophomore year. I also don't think I mentioned but Page Hall is for upperclassmen so sophomores, juniors, and seniors and it is male and female. It's also sweet style living as well. It's film and sweet style living too. So if you can see here to the right we're gonna have the library, the Alara library. And that also contains a few classrooms and study rooms as well. Over here on our left you can see a mural and the Appalachian Center for the Arts. They have performances there throughout the year. Also right here you can see Dueling Barrels. That is a brewery and a distillery all in one. They do chores and you get tasting tokens to taste and you can go to their room and shop around and take some home. Right you can see the parking garage. You can also see the Appalachian News Express which is a news place. Now over here on the right you can see a playground, the Pikeville Playground. Lots of kids over there all over here. You can see the post office. It's looking very pretty today. And over here on the left, you can see Appalachian Wireless Arena. This holds about 7,000 people. And it is also home to the U Pike Bears basketball team. They hold a lot of country concerts there. Here as on well. the right, we can see the fire rescue headquarters. They normally train people out here for to be home. Up right here, you can see Dorsey's Dairy Bar. It's kind of a down into downtown Pikeville and you can see this movie theater. It has a few weird colors in here. And here you can see the city of Pikeville Town Hall. City Hall. And we are just heading through downtown Pikeville. There's a ministry right here on the right. And if we keep going, there's a lot of different houses and residential areas. Over here, there's Ghostbusters Tanning. Down here on the 
here on Main Street in Pikeville, there is a lot to do. There's different shops and different places to eat. So right over here we have Mickey's Menagerie. We already passed it. And over here, I don't know if you can tell, but it's the Dueling Barrels gift store. It kind of looks English a bit. Now we're going to keep going. There's some law attorney offices up here. And right here you can see Bridget's Quilting. You can also see Rustic Roots on 2nd, which is a cute little one. Heroes Ice Cream also. Then here is the Appalachian News Express again. What looks like. And then there's CC Bell, which is another sort of gift store with. Here's a better view of the park where Addison loved to catch Pokemon Go's last Main year. Street. You can see a lot down here. There's a Pikeville United Methodist Church that's super pretty. Up here is the New Beginnings Fellowship Church. Broken Throne Brewing. I don't think that's open yet. And here you get another view of Appalachian Wireless. Here's another bear called the Musical Movement Bear because they do outdoor concerts here when the weather's warmer. There's also a jail back there. I'm not sure if you can see it. And then we're going to turn left right here. We found another bear. It's called the Pride Bear. It has lots of coal mining and stuff like that. This is the Pikeville Courthouse. It's very pretty. This is the side view. And then as you can see up here, there's WYMT, yep. which is the news station, Mountain News Station. It's over there. Back on U Pikes campus, if you change which calendar, back from the admin building, back by Wickham, and it will just come straight out here. You'll see the little government, you'll see Paige right there, and government housing right here. Straight, we will get to the cemetery where we will see a special woman. Keep walking down that road you just saw, you should see a stairwell that you just walked up. It's a little crummy, so be careful. So this is Octavia Hatcher, she's on the hill that looks into downtown Pikeville. Um, There's the City Hall Courthouse right there. Her husband used to work in the RH Group building. It was called something else. So when she did pass away, she wanted to be, or he wanted her to be buried right here so she could look over him at work. She got a disease, went into a coma while she was pregnant. She had her baby and it passed away. His name was Jacob. She also passed away while she was in the coma. Little Jacob is know, right here. Little did they know that a bunch of people were getting this disease and they would wake up out of their coma even though they didn't have a heart rate or something. They didn't have the right technology. So the husband thought that they should come up here to see if that's how she actually died. Well, when they opened the casket, there were scratch marks like she tried to get out. So she was buried alive. And this is a well-known folklore tale here in Pikeville about her haunting and she turns her head and turns her back on her husband sometimes. So her whole statue would move and twist so that she would turn her back on her husband down there. So this is a big one near Halloween time. Aurora Borealis bear that's meant to look like the Aurora Borealis. Here we have our astronaut bear and poor bear, someone poked a hole in him. Another bear right here on the left, that is the UK bear, he's kind of blue. And now we're going to drive through a little bit more on Main Street. Here we can see the crazy bear. 